you guys hit another 22 threes tonight. You hold the Lakers to 17 points in the third quarter. Um, obviously, they were shorthanded in this game, but just given what you guys did, what do you take away from this performance? Uh, I think we did a great job defensively. You know, uh, regardless of who we're facing or who's playing, who's not playing, we want to make sure that uh, we come in every single night with the mindset of uh, defending. And you know, and uh, I think we did a uh, we did a great job, especially in the third quarter and second half. And it's all about getting better. You know, it's all about keep getting better. And uh, I think we did a great job sharing the ball offensively. And uh, you know, when we you know we defend, we share the ball. It's uh, it's hard to it's hard to beat us. Chris and Kenny, Jazz TV. Rudy, it feels like if you look down at your phone, all of a sudden you guys have a 20-point lead. How do you explain the ability of this team to go on these commanding runs, and how do you sustain that? I mean, like Coach told us yesterday, you know, when we when we go into a 12-0 run, 14-2 uh, run, stuff like that, when you what you look at is the zero or the two, you know, and when, like I said, you know, when we're able to get those stops and, you know, we know we can score, we know we can score anytime. And, you know, it's, uh, it's just a matter for us of being able to take advantage of our, of our stops, uh, move the ball. And especially when you should treat, when you, when you have a team of shooters, like we do, uh, it can go pretty fast. Sir Todd, Desert News. Rudy, were uh, you and the team made aware of what Elijah Millsap said on Twitter before tonight's game? No, we just found out. We just found out. Uh, and uh, were there ever any conversations about that or kind of what is your response to hearing? I mean, I never heard about it. You know, Elijah was actually one of the guys that I was close with when he was, you know, part of the team a few years ago. So, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, reach out to him and uh, find out. But uh, yeah, you know, I mean, until we have more information, it's 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 hard to tell. And it's what it was six years ago, you know. So that's why it's kind of, I mean, it's hard to it's tough to understand. But uh, we hopefully we get more information. John Kuhn, AP. Rudy. Um... Defensively, you guys were able to take advantage inside the, the post and on the perimeter and shut things off. But you were also offensively able to, to kind of dig in and, and get into the post. Do you feel like that really opened things up offensively in the, in the second quarter on the perimeter, the fact that you were able to attack the basket consistently in the first half? I mean, the, the reason why we, you know, we we get so many threes because we are really good at putting pressure on the rim. And, uh, you know, teams, uh, you know, teams have to make decisions. And when they, you know, I, usually they, they rather give up the threes than give up, you know, the, 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 the layups or the dunks because it's, it's supposed to be a lower percentage. And that's why I think, you know, uh, every night we, we kind of see a different game plans, you know, team, uh, uh, you know, try to play us differently tonight. I think they they try to stay home a little more with our shooters. Uh, you know, Donovan, the guards, and uh, myself. You know, we did a great job attacking, putting pressure on the rim. And uh, you know, it's on us. It's on the guards to and on us to uh, when they collapse, find the open man, and when they don't collapse, to to finish at the rim. Leonardo Torres. <clears throat> Rudy, it's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. Rudy, do you do you like you send a powerful statement to the entire league tonight? Or do you think it was just a good regular season win? And for, for us, you know, um, obviously every win is a great win. But for us, the goal is really to just keep getting better you know, every single night. Uh, obviously, we know that the Lakers are a team that, you know, they are at the top in the one of the top teams in the in the Western Conference, so it's 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 a good win for us. But uh, I don't think it's a statement. You know, they were missing a lot of guys. Uh, you know, they played uh, overtime two days ago. Uh, 
So now it's just about getting better and, uh, you know, getting every single game, getting better and get ready for the, when it's time for the playoffs. Maxime, the free agent. Uh, hi, hi, I'm ready. Um, so what do you so, feel when you see LeBron get get back uh, from you and uh, was care about you in defense when, when he tried to drive and he, and he faced to you and he put back. Ah, uh, you mean it, it was, yeah, I mean, every game is different. You know, LeBron, uh, obviously he's a great player. Tonight he was, you know, uh, he was more of a playmaker and, you know, and, uh, and he shot a lot of, you know, jumpers. Some other nights he's going to be more aggressive. I know that, you know, so it's really, uh, you know, I'm always up to the challenge. And, uh, you know, that's why he's LeBron. You know, he can do a lot of different things. And, you know, you got you to gotta try to limit him as much as you can. All right, that's all the time we have. Thank you, Rudy. Thank you.